Yeah. Welcome to Keep the Ball. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, you're enjoying them, aren't you? Mate, I fucking love it. Uh-huh. I swear to God, absolutely genuinely love it. And obviously Saturday, all the coaches that I played against and that, I was asking them for a wee bit of advice with like, how things, because I didn't know all the rules, how what they needed to do, whether they had to revert back to the halfway line and can you score in the box and things like that. So, a lot of nonsense like that. I know, but they were all helpful. And uh, what is it? Why is it? What's the retreat line? How are you meant to take the bond of pressure? I team? know, that's, that's there's a lot of this kid stuff that obviously you'll be aware of, you'll especially be aware of saying it because you're coaching the kids. A lot of it doesn't really add up. Mm. Doesn't really make sense, and but however the rules are there, you're the man to change it. But there has point. been a few complaints that it was bite marks or the new badge. <laughs> Disgraceful. I don't know. Nah, the new strips are coming this week. What, what colour? Red, brown, uh, yellow, and black. <laughs> red and brown. <laughs> went, for a, went for a went for a random eye test last week and managed to get a sponsor, Vision Express, up at the fort, Glasgow Fort. Keys and sorted me right out for a bunch of strips. So ah, there you go. I see it was at Adidas as well, wasn't it? Boker and Tumble Fort. Could be getting chucked off the pitch. It was Ali getting shit all over it, wasn't it? Ali getting shit all over it. Aye. Did Duncan come down again? No, he didn't actually, but he came down before we started. Somebody that I spoke to was at Boca Thursday. Said it was a difficult night. What are they? Can you highlight it? Oh, okay. Wow. 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 He's, he's Bielsa. He was Bielsa again, wasn't he? <laughs> did Obviously, he just shake the bitch again on his knees at the side. Somebody said there was a few difficulties, but I was like, no, I know under Paul Slane's what, surely. I said it was a. See, see what happens, Paul, when you come for me first. <laughs> Wait till I come for you then. Hey, <laughs> so hey, you... hey ho. Hey ho. <laughs> listen, I mean, what I would say is, listen, first of night, this is a bit uh, difficult, obviously, so you weren't there, so the shit. Did the number one coach no turn up? Nah, I've done it a couple of coaches. No, but listen, it went, uh, it was smooth. Paul, um, you read all the comments, mate, the place is flying. I know it's flying, it's flying, certainly. Some... <laughs> He was the boy with the wallet then, though. He was there. <laughs> but what was it he said to you? So he's due, how much is he doing at 15? 15, he was like, I'll come back next week with full tight and pay for the last four. So he was like, I'm not paying this week. <laughs> yeah, he refuses to pay. <laughs> I'm still selling <laughs> that, I know. I've still got the wallet. Any update in the friendly? No, no. Well, 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 I've got, I've got, listen, I have got now a squad ready to play whenever well, you want. No, but what I was hoping today was, like I said, I, I was bringing, hoping to bring five or six kids over to Boca. You should, mate. I mean, Give them a wee different experience because that's what fit was all about. You've got to give them as many experiences as you can. Do you know what? So you make that look like it's like a big away trip? Of it but, well, I'm just thinking we could get a Pizano or something or whatever there, but... Oh, nice. Look I'm, not really, I'm, not, I'm, not really, I'm not really fussed about the training. <laughs> He's a big away day. Have you got five, six boys at that similar age that you think could take them on? Yeah, and I was in contact with them, parents and all that, to sort it out, so... I know, How many is it you've got training on a Thursday? I don't know, I don't know. 40. 40 or something. 40, aye. That's amazing. Think of the money this boy's making. How many oh. kids have you got again? Seven? <laughs> I had uh, I had twelve last week. Did you? Twelve you on the Thursday, right. twelve on the Tuesday. And are, you, are you happy with the twelve? No, it's good. All are good. you happy with the twelve? Very happy. I'm off as the east. This is like Ferguson and Benitez, isn't it? This is maybe, maybe, no, maybe no Ferguson and Benitez. It's maybe more Stan Tennant, fucking Jim Jeffries. Uh, I Jim Jeffries. Uh, right, the other big news coming to Tyne Castle. Andy Halliday's getting an open goal tattoo. Aye. That's so Are unbelievable. Aye. Aye. No, aye. Where the boots? No, been in the place fucking two minutes and he's getting a little tattoo. Two high heels and a tattoo. It's just fair. No, done a shot in the place. State of all fighters. Can we see it? Aye, sure. Aye, it's not start. No, got it yet. What, so what's the, what is the plan? Where you, You're getting old beside the... <laughs> getting old. <laughs> getting old at the bottom. So it's just going to be pen gals. <laughs> 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 so the Arsenal's going to go for the open and the goal Aye, how are you so going to fit that in but have you not heard he's, he's also getting because the other show he does he's getting just Clyde <laughs> and then the banger's going to be one <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick one and Hugh Keevans is getting the same one but it's Clyde Dot <laughs> Clyde so Clyde one please tell us you heard of it the, the, Clyde Hart I was trying to get directly mate we're going to do the same oh, offer for man. Hugh Keevans well, everyone here, 500 quid a skull of Kevin's farts on the radio. And he's like, think he did. You get tears in your eyes. Ah, that was funny, man. But Clyde Dot was a personal favourite there. <laughs> no, I don't think he would date 500 quid. He's minty, didn't he? Is he cake? Right. Is he? Would you fart on the radio? <laughs> Just after Kevin asked you something? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> well, the reason why I asked is because he was talking about he eats cold beans, didn't he? Aye, cold beans, that's his snack. <laughs> <laughs> that is some man, honestly. So, when will the open goal tattoo be done? I go back in Thursday, but I don't know if I'll get up to the, the top because it'll be hidden. It'll be right up here. Nobody can see it except for you. You get one side. Usually the ones I got a tattoo. It. I got two on Thursday for a guy Cubs. He loves the show, mate, and he's he he, he honestly did made a suggestion for you. He loves the accents. He'd, he said he'd love to hear you do it in Mexican. 
Oh, but he's, uh, put, he's actually gave us a scenario as well. So imagine you're like a Mexican <laughs> with leather shorts on and the sun's playing havoc with your red star. <laughs> ah, I think you can back to me next week with that one. No, come on. Gives no, it I, I don't you know. You can that. actually date all accents, though, can't you? You're good at it. You're no. actually good at it. Mexican, come on. Quite a good Mexican joke. Right, give it in. Oh, no. No, I can't remember. Here about, uh, no, I'm going to say it. Right, let's go. <laughs> right, come on, just give it to me, Mexican do accent. Do you know what makes me laugh? Do you know what makes me laugh, right? He's at your getting an open goal tattoo. I, Copied every tattoo I've had so far. So you might turn up and open gold. I got one of my copies. Get your chest it. <laughs> well, one of my copies. All of them? Yeah, boy, do you. The type no, of tattoos are all. I'm not getting my body. No? No, no. What about the, what about uh, the dress yeah. sense today? I know, oh, I don't me. know. He's a wee wolf. Into a wee wolf. What would Jack be still game? What's going on the day, Simon? What is... No, the boys there? have came down on it, so I've got dressed up to take them out. He's taking them out of the bubble club. Mate, <laughs> Gucci <laughs> 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 send it. I need to wear it, isn't it? He's still sending stuff. He's still sending yeah. stuff, mate, yeah, so I need to wear it. Similar to the green, uh, the, the Masters golf one he had. On the, on the oh, the green one at the SWG I like a wee... I like that wee green one, right? How was your weekend? Sun shining. Beautiful, mate. You were seen up Kelvin Grove Park pushing Keir Cavins on the swing. Right. But you weren't yeah, pushing the swing, it. you were slapping it. <laughs> you were slapping it. <laughs> loved it. I mean, I've been outside for three days. I went golf for the first time, big oh, man. Did you? I went to golf. Killer man. Oh, nice. That was. First thing I played in. Who'd you go with? Big Greasy. Murray. See, you said he was hitting shots. How's Greasy at golf? <laughs> Good. Is he? Ten eyes. Because the boy I know of is at Andrews. I just got to play with Greasy. It's at Andrews. He was in my favour. He got in the old course. And he, he never mentioned how good or bad he was. No, he's good. Get a game. Did you beat him? He's good. Too fair. I've already got him lined up for. Does he get angry for open goal as well next year? Does he get uh, angry, McGregor? Nah, not really. To be honest. What was the chat? I date it's frustrating as fuck. Uh, it's hard. Ah, shit, golf, isn't it? Ah, that's good. Dog shit. What about um? What were you talking about? Listen, the more you know, the more poor listeners, so I'm going to be telling you. Think he's a crass, huh? Ah, he's a snitch. I'm a snitch, I don't know that. So what, you've sorted McGregor for coming on? Ah, he's coming on, he'll come on next year. Oh, I think all the fitter players that are playing and current and past, I'd love to listen to Alan McGregor, because I think it could be a box of tricks. Mm. We've tried to get a few, haven't we, recently? There's a few extra that Jack are I'm not in the game in it. Ah, he's patched up. Jack Ross is Jack Ross, Ross thinks he's good. also promised an, an actor that he's not came through. Who was actor? He messaged yesterday saying, He'll be on in the next couple of weeks, but do you know what I was thinking? Mate? I've never had them on here. <laughs> Every time I message him and I tell you he's going to come on, he never comes on, do you know? Uh, you've had a few people, he's coming on then. Never yeah. happens, it happens. I'm not taking me serious, aren't I? Have you got Joe Higgins on, did you know? No, he's already on up and go before me. <laughs> you brought Tierney on, did you know? Oh, there you go, you got Tierney. Uh, aye. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, weekend? What'd you get up to? Uh, I don't even know, just the match is Saturday, Saturday afternoon. What did we do Saturday afternoon? No, I don't, mate, to be honest. I went out to work Saturday night for three hours. If you could. Oh, was that the, through the, when people were drunk in it? Just, I just... Six How's to, that? I just went out at half six to about ten. It was rammed. And then home. And then yesterday just chilled Mother's Day. Sat in the garden. You l- l- you've brought a couple of guests on, have you not? Nah, never. No. Nobody. <laughs> Niall Quinn. <laughs> I don't. Nah, you know, you brought Niall Quinn was good. Ma- my year was obviously... Tight, my year was a bit older. I had to cut it, didn't I? Could yeah. show it? Could show cut it? the Niall Quinn one? No, there's, there's, there's an Niall Quinn podcast out there, isn't there? I didn't know it's anybody that really that would come on that I think would give something towards the show. Peter Reid. Norman Whiteside. Peter Reid. No, Peter Get Norman Whiteside or tell the Norman Whiteside story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker, I'll tell you that. what's a better story. I'll tell you what's a better story. That Amsterdam man. You've not heard it for a while. It's a bit dot so so who won that? that Amsterdam story. I picked up two boys all day, right? They were out on Tuesday night in Kilwinnan. And they ended up in Tenerife for three nights. Heroes. Heroes. I says, mm-hmm. what, what, what was what was the thing behind Inspired it? Aye. Just, you, know, aye. aye. you also picked up a guy that Slaney's d- done in. Aye, done. <laughs> Slaney. He says, you, you big Kev Kyle? I says, aye. He says, aye, I know Slaney, aye. Years ago, uh, I was supposed to go to this thing, right? And uh, he phoned me up and says I had to wear a suit. He says, I've turned up the only man wearing a suit. <laughs> I just felt the strop for the poor boy. I was eight, eight year old at the time, you know. <laughs> do, you know who, do you know who that is he's talking about? Mm-hmm. What about the guy messaged you about me? I know. Gutted. What, a six year old kept taking the ball from? Aye, uh, so like, like left back can they play or something, so they put a six year old left back and he marched out of the game. Can you believe you it? You chucked it after? Manager, we old guy. Who are you playing for? Jimmy Johnson Academy. <laughs> what age were you? <laughs> Actually, was. What age were uh, you? 23 or something, 22. Actually, no, uh, so that must have been just after there? Aye. Just, no, aye. Was it, no, was it before there? No, it was before there. It was when I was trying to get back fit. Right. So I went there and just. I schooled most of the games, you know what I mean? What, uh, who sure. won the F1 at the weekend, Paul? Big for strap one. <laughs> what a win for the big man. He was super hard. The wild strap. It was absolutely massive. <laughs> and Steve Leclerc, oh. Steve Leclerc came second, didn't he? <laughs> 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 Steve Leclerc. 
<laughs> and his Nissan came second in his Nissan, Nissan, didn't he? We're all surprised. He got Norse, he got Norse put in his Nissan, didn't we're he? We're surprised that the Nissan is going to keep up. But how you meant to win a race when John Carver's rubbing his ass up and doing your bonnet when you're trying to drive? That's what slowed him down. That's a big first draft on Steve McClure. Steve McClure. Steve McClure. The Scotland boys were racing, weren't they? Because he was away for the weekend. Uh, he was away and they trying to prepare. <laughs> trying to prepare for games. But no, listen, John Carver's got a lot to answer for. He can't be doing that when he's trying to take over people, can he? When he's also Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton had an absolute disaster. Hamilton finished 11th, mate. Took his was, pit at the wrong time. I'm obsessed with him, mate. I love it. I hate it. So tactical, not it? Do you want to drive to survive? Amazing. How good is it? See, see on the, the, the Hamilton yesterday, was like fifth or sixth or something, but then they took that hang. But that's that safety car is so unfair, isn't it? That's all that's shit. That's how they're and then there's one. yellow flags when you cannot overtake us. Right. There's a lot of rules, mate. Uh, big result for the weekend to Peter Head on. Amazing, mate. I feel like we'll never speak about Peter Head. Uh, I mean, so it's one every 16 weeks. <laughs> that was supposed to be a cue for you, but uh, a massive one, wasn't it, sir? I had a massive one. You're back, You're team, back in the centre of the pitch, mate. Actually, for not rocket science. When was the last time you played it, man? Fuck, years ago, man. It was a while, wasn't it? Uh, it's been a while. while. Uh, but I think when I seen you in the team, I did, I did think just. It is important. You've got somebody obviously vocal to the side and all that, but I think when you're in there, you can actually feel it. And yeah, you're close to everyone. Close you to everyone. play well. Fully deserved, mate. Aye. Uh, again, there's not many times that we've not played well, mate. It probably did. We have probably just missed a wee bit of experience. So does that put you playing or Conroy playing? What does that put you up of the? We're four ahead of Dunbar and it's we're the boy Telfer. Eight it's ahead of East Fife. Ah, that's good. Four to play. A couple of wins should do. We play Clyde and Dunbarton next to Talk, a draw, talk us through the booking after 28 minutes. Give mate robbed Charlie Telfer robbed us, so I've just pulled his shorts uh, right after. Clever. Great yeah. 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 Uh-huh. No, 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 the first time they try to pull somebody's shorts off her. Uh-huh. What, what uh-huh. a bit of goal for Jack Brown. Jack Brown, so good reaction. Well, Faith Throne, we worked the throne instead of just well, just, instead of just flinging the ball down the line for thrones, which is my pet hate. Because you just that's that's how you get away all the time. Get away every time you throw it down the line, mate. Uh, but do you not believe in like, when, it, when it goes out for throwing? See if something's quick enough. Take it quick enough. Maybe it's quick enough to react. I just don't get so it. Throwing it inside, Grant Savory, instead of playing safe, turns his man, has a shot, goes past him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm I thought we got one shot on target. See when, um, see when you obviously like you want to play a certain way. See when it gets to the last 15, 10 minutes, you've got a lead. Can you, f- do you sort of go what? stop playing the way you want no. to play? No, at all. No, no, no. Why? No, I'm why, just. Why, why does it matter when it's the first minute? No, I, but, but you no, just naturally date. Naturally date. Oh, that's what happens to him. But you, I would rather have played me 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. It was already to get the body on the side of Falkirk, so it wasn't all just overplaying. It was put a couple of passes. How's, uh, how's Falkirk since obviously I got a new manager not so long ago? No, they, have they got better? Because they did struggle there at the beginning of the season, they were struggling. But Falkirk should be a way up that league. I know, they should be up that league, to be honest. Uh, I, I expected them to be better than me totally honest. Aye, I, I, that's what I've heard. Yeah. Aye, that's what I've heard. They'd come Falkirk. We, 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 we should have beaten them at their place as well, I thought. Yep. You know, I'm honest, so. No, but you just played well for a while without getting uh, results. We do play so. some, mate, without getting results, but it's all about getting so results. It's business, mate. That's it, mate. That's so, it. Well done, so Jack. So, five, five to go, and then it's the summer, isn't it? And Ricky Dunbar, that was a nightmare when Jordan missed the pen, didn't he? In the last minute. That would have put us five ahead of them. A four, though. Four or five to play. It's in your hands, mate. That's it. So, are you going to play the end of the season now? It's up to the manager, mate, isn't it? Was he McCarthy? Andy McCarthy's been our best player, I think, this year. Was he it? He was suspended, so that's why I said I'd play. But hopefully now that he's fat, I'll be back. That was the one time. I liked against Dundee when it made a part. But why would you not want to play? Keep playing if he's better than me. No, but couldn't you both use not play? He plays as a centre. Where are you going to play me? And then you've got no, Scott, no, I played me. Then you've got Scott right Brown, the captain. Right wing. <laughs> That's the right wing. <laughs> Get a bit left wing for the big I man. I know. My team, they were phoning up Friday night. Four, Did you four. play? No, I didn't play. I was. Uh, Lynn, had, Lynn, uh, Lynn wasn't feeling very good. So. That, was your, was that, that would have been your second game? That would have been the second game. They were 4 0 up, drew 4 4, 93rd minute equaliser, so by all accounts, a lesson learned. Well, it wouldn't have happened, happened under my watch, right enough. But oh, so, so, see, if you'd have been there, you. I would have seen the game out. Aye. But what, would you, what would you have done for left wing to hold on to the lead? I'd have chatted to the, the manager to get me half. <laughs> Just uh, communicated for the touchline. No, nah, you can't. I think, 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 think uh, that red star can't be set up. When you're playing for over 35s, you. Players get tired coming in the game, so it's sometimes these teams start with like the older players first, and then they put on the younger ones near the end. Kind of tactical. What did um? But sorry, Kevin. When you go a bit fourth. Would you not rather put the younger ones on to start? Aye, but us, the, 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 we don't. We don't. It's not. A, it's not serious. You know what I mean? It's just the ability to, to have a game of football Absolutely. and see how it goes. 
You're on the, you're on the intestine. He's only there to win. He's only there to win. That's fine. No Absolutely What's that in life? What? No serious. And the kids can't watch and see our kids don't worry about feet beat on her. What's Paul. that? See, when we're playing the Premiership, we have a series then, son. We're playing Donny Pace over 35, so we'll just take our time and go on. Jesus <laughs> Premiership, <laughs> shout out, always does it. Doesn't use it enough, I don't think. No. Well, well, sorry, sorry, just before we go, Andy, what is, as a Premier League player, a Premier League athlete, what does that With their legs, man. With big, sexy, meat legs. What does that There's not much in between the legs, but I don't see, <laughs> see any bulge at all there, Andy. <laughs> what, 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 what does it. What's that? What do you use doing in an international break? Clyde Half. Do you do whatever you want? But do you do you squint training or is it a few no. days off? So uh ah, well we trained we trained all week up until Friday, Thursday and Monday. then we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday the day off. So and then normal uh, week. Friday played a bit of golf. Like I said, that's the first time I've played for pff, about three years or something. And then I've got an addictive personality, see we like anything, see if I play and I enjoy it. I sat I want to play all right. the time. So I want to go to that Wanted to go to the range today, wanted to get back into it, but then other than that, mate, just enjoyed the dogs, enjoyed the weather. But uh, what, had, I mean, a what, else, he? had a barbecue. What a professional for me. Everyone else takes days out. He done the yo yo test four days in a row. Good on Jig though. With Jig. He could be up in a holiday. <laughs> he's, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> He's outside his back door. I'm quite disappointed with Hearts getting them four days off. Nah, I know. The performance is deserved, man. He's disappointed. I think he should have got more days off. Oh, mate, for a week and a half. Where they've come this season? I think a lot of Cubs will get a week, probably. Aye. But there is tur- actually no bad, I've had worse. There is turmoil on the holiday house. Is there? Oh, dogs. He went here, no, he went here. Mm. Keevans had Jelly's clothes on. Why? How did he squeeze it at them? Why did he always go? How did he squeeze it at them? I don't know. He did have overalls on everything. Are you addicted to Keevans? I did. 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 I <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, good. good. I can't. Stick up I'll, 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 I'll sit back. I'll I'll sit back. Anyone can have that. No, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just, sit back. I don't know. Why are you wearing top fucking legs? Oh, right on I you just, go. Come on. I just have a big chicken drumstick in it. I just, uh, no, nah, no for me. Oh, oh. I, I, I think that's a part. Plus, that's a popular opinion. I don't think many people like him. He's wearing fancy dresses. He'll knock you. It's the sum of opinions I get trying to listen to their show on a Thursday. Hey, I'm not for that because some people can't listen to me. But hey ho, we can't please everybody. Hey ho, hey ho. Right, let's exactly. get moving on. We'll right. on. There's a big announcement to be made. What's here? a big announcement? One of the top prospects in Scottish football of all time, I'll say. Would you go with that? British football Aye. of all time. Oh, he definitely, is. definitely. I don't think there's anyone in Scotland that had to deal with the, the pressure you did at such a young age, <laughs> or very anyone young that age. folded under that pressure. Aye. Aye. I wouldn't say folded. Aye. Maybe affect his slightly, but <laughs> <laughs> hey ho, hey ho. <laughs> right, so what's the announcement? So we Take made, it away. No, we made the decision. Uh, well, I mean, we, no, we. I made the decision. I want to keep one last crack of playing. Um, see, when I stopped playing, no, Kev, right? I remember when I got this hip problem at Celtic. Left Celtic, tried to go back into Motherwell. The hip was still affecting me. So I thought at that time, I can't go for surgery with another team. I can't deal with what happened to say, like injured all the time. So I like to get myself back fit. So whatever I was in my life for a few days, went and met the surgeon. He said you need hip surgery. So he said it's in a month or something, booked in for a month. In that month, obviously, I done what I done. Do you yeah. know what I mean? What would you do? Listen, if you're gonna tell a story, <laughs> you can't leave bits of it. Every sports and all, I mean sports and all. <laughs> but what I'm saying tell is a full story. But what I'm saying is where that is in that moment, people maybe think you done this when you were at Celtic or you did the surgeon had room it for a year and a half or whatever it so was. So you blame the surgeon? So the surgeon had this grace to allow me to go there. But so, see, so see when I came back, mate, the, the hip still wasn't right. Yeah. See the, I, I, all I would say is see on the hip problem, mate, see the, if you watch Andy Murray's documentary, it's the, see for ages I was kept on talking to people were saying and they couldn't understand it because I could play through it. Right. I could train through it, play through it, but after it was agony, That's what I get. when I was part time, I went to part time with Aaron Clyde, I was taking like, painkillers to get through it, but I couldn't, I, mean, I had to get away from it, I couldn't cope at the time, like, that's what I'm saying, I couldn't be the same player I was, I was constantly taking painkillers, whatever it was, so at the time I needed to get away from the game, went to LA, it was the first time, it went out my head, but now I'm not, I, I'm in a place now Simon that I'm not trying to go to the top of the game, do you know what I mean? We should be. No, I know. Is that not what you've just, you just slaughtered him? No, but the, the, the body I'm in. He's just doing it for fun. He's no, just doing it for fun then? No, but I just want to get. It's, it's never left me. Do you know what I mean? 
Unfinished business, Paul. Uh, it's, it's never left my head, so I want to get one last crack to see. I want to get that. I remember seeing him. Listen, the quality's still there, mate. Uh, I seen your name on this, uh, uh, Sky Sports on Saturday, and it killed me. I thought I could. How's he getting on that? I could <laughs> that. Really, really hurt me, that. So, you're, you're a couple of weeks into your training now. You do, I think you look slimmer. You, do, you look slimmer. Aye. But you that, could tell in your diet what, what, what you're doing on a day to day basis. We're, right? fit, we're footsied too much. We've done a run, and it was a shambles, right? But I knew there was something all right. Bet the doctor's got blood tests. Emic. Emic? Emo. Anemic. You're an emo. <laughs> emo. What is, what is an emo? Just came back emo. Go off. Go off. <laughs> Calum Davison, it just came back Calum <laughs> Davison. <laughs> no, so I, I need to get that right. They put me on tablets and stuff, so I'm ready to go now. What can you give us just a wee step over just to show us your back? Because that's what you're famous for, aren't you? Aye. Aye, but no, it has to be in real sight. It has to be in a real condition. Are you thinking of going back into like winger? Left wing. Left wing. In the hole. Cut it inside. <laughs> you always liked it being in the hole, didn't you? <laughs> no, I do, but I want I to I properly take it serious. Do you know what I mean? Name, name fuck about, name messing about. And if I get myself fit, I don't see why I can't. Would you feel fitter? Aye. Would you feel dinner Saturday? Pizza. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, though. It's carbs, that. You need to enjoy yourself, mate. Won't enjoy yourself. Pre season then, so we're looking for a big. A big you can watch his progress. There's going, to be, there's going to be a special documentary in a few Is weeks. Is there a But I think it's important people see that. I don't really care what people think, but what well, I do, but I don't really don't. No, you do it here, do you know? I don't really, right? But I think it's both like when I came on here, sometimes people meet me in the street and like that. Like they talk to you as if you're a clown, do you know what I mean? And I think it's both, I do have a, a serious side to me, say. Si. But so, it's because of the red nose. The red nose, <laughs> not to do with the personality. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward, I'm looking forward to a documentary. And there's no messing about in it, it's proper serious. And is it candid? What does that mean? So is it like, are you going in, going in deep, like deep as you're, you're feeling? Aye, aye, it's, it's proper serious, it's proper sort of what went on in the past and what's got me to be this person I'm on now and try to get one last crack. There's no for, I know it's coming out, but it's no for views or for whatever. Do you know what I'm watching now? No, I want, I want the views to be massive. <laughs> <laughs> I want everybody to watch it, to be honest. But well, let's see, have you done setups? I was doing them, but no, they're new. Give me a couple of weeks and I'll get See, it was when you were coming up, you, you need to stop doing that. And you're were, you were coming up with your mouth open and what you were doing was, you need to stop I, that. He had to get out of the way. <laughs> P, PT holding your ankles, you're coming up with your mouth. PT was brilliant. He really Who was. Who's your, so Boyd is your PT? Boyd. Tom Boyd. He's into that now. Mm -hmm. Bobby Pitt, I'd give it up to him. Bobby Pitt was doing He took over his business. Like I don't want you to give too much away. But see at the start of the documentary, do you do like your, your body fats, your weight, so you can like track your progress throughout the training? That's probably And you your coffee. Here's the cleaners got your coffee. Heroes! Come on in, come on in, you two! I love, these, I love these two. Oh, here's Diggy's wife. Two brooms! Oh, oh, yeah. He's always a couple of brooms! Here's two's are still in it! And you come get in the car! Hey. Hey. And you come, what's your name? Heroes! Liz and what? Liz. Liz and Jackie, come oh, here. Thank you Give very much. Come. You love Andy Halliday, didn't you? You love Andy Halliday, mate. I tell you what, he's a big Yeah, you do, don't yeah, you? Yeah. She does, she's, she's blushing. Uh, she does, she totals last night. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Jackie. Oh no, that's oh, you know, a I've seen you looking no, after that. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Cheers. You know, Andy, you're the nation's hero. Oh, they old dirty birds, eh? What a woman, eh? Nice. Woman. See, uh, it's honest, I see you. That's what Andy asked you. I see you on the. Uh, you're raging when I'm interrupting you. Embarrassing. I'll speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. That's it. The last day here. Unlucky. Unlucky, used to. So, see you on the hang. Andy, that question about the, the start is probably going to be the best bit, actually, like, because he's there as well when we're at Hamden doing the. The, the medical and stuff like that and some parts were actually quite good but weren't they? Uh -huh. But then the most important parts have been a Are you in it as well? Just like just a bit of moral support mate. Dabbing in and out aren't you? So, who, and, so uh, what, you've been doing fitness work coaching back on the field training balls? Aye aye. Aye. It's it's proper, like, uh, proper stuff but the, the, the medicals it's a wake up call if I'm saying. Mm -hmm. How do you actually feel though? Like, if you're easily, if you are easily, if you're, if you're sick quite easily, then you'd maybe better not watch it. Aye, aye. That'll come up on the screen for viewers. We'll put a disclaimer on it. <laughs> 18, 18 plus, isn't it? 18 plus. <laughs> what, uh, how, how do you feel touch wise, genuinely? Like proper training? Like on the ball? Aye. That's never been a question. On the ball, I'm unbelievable. Mm. Named, I don't think anybody will live with me if that, that turn up. But even been that long without playing? But doesn't you lose that, do you? Aye, 100%. I told you my first training session at Hearts was an embarrassment. Was it? Aye. If they had a receipt, I'd have been, I'd have been back. Touch wise, so what about putting your finger on it? That's getting there. That's, that's coming back. That's all that. timing, though, isn't it? That's timing. <laughs> is it the right time? Aye. Aye, it is. We okay, get your right. back. Perfect. No we'll, we'll give him a wee round of applause. Aye. Fair play. He doesn't no, need to do this. No, 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 that's a new Paul Slane already. Superb Paul. Well done, Paul. We're off out of here. No yet. Why don't you go and take me Condoran? 
No chance. Worst case scenario, right? If we no, just get a team, <laughs> we'll get you in. We'll get you in at thirty fives. Okay. Because you do look over thirty five. <laughs> so anyway, you can't just keep me a bit kidding. You can't. Uh, right, big week in Scottish football. Massive. Does this weekend Uge. decide the title? Huge. Yeah. I've said like one. Aye. What title's done? I've said like one. Celtic when it's done. Six points we go difference. It's real completely over and I don't like saying that because it's a, there is games to go but it's very hard to claw that back you're then asking Celtic then to lose two games and then we need to drop points a third because of the goal difference yeah. um, and then you, as Celtic are dropping points you need Rangers to win every single game the, uh, the European ties as well I think if Celtic win that's it so Celtic will be going there to they'll go for the win but great they, analysis of course they'll go for the win 100% I think why would you know aye, they'll, they'll definitely but then also I can't kind of see, there's no way Rangers will sit after them. There's no way. I don't think that they'll be going. F- I think since that that game at uh, Parkhead, I think s- Rangers have been spot on. Changed. Changed. Yeah, yeah, front yeah. foot, aye. And, and they've been much better for it. Rangers, they started games 100%. far better. Yeah, yeah. They have to. They can't start that game. So are you going along with Slaney, though, before we start? I, 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 I agree, like it's done. I agree with that to a point um, in terms of like, if six points is a big ask when you've only got one old firm game left and it's going to be at Parkhead, would that be right, the last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's difficult to go to Parkhead um, and get a, get something there, but I would never say it's over because football is a funny old game, and as much as these Celtic players are new to the league, so they, the, the the signs are brought in. When it gets to the right nitty gritty part, oh, pressure can p- p- pressure can make players do unbelievably different things that they're. So you just don't know. Mm. Um, so you're saying no? No, I'm saying I don't really actually know what I'm saying. I'm thinking that. <laughs> I know, we know how you I know, feel. I know, it's it's a hard one, but I think it would be very, very difficult for Rangers to come back if they were to lose the game at the weekend. Mm. I'm saying done. Done if Celtic win. Celtic win at Ibrox at the weekend. Aye, I think, think it's, it's very difficult. Because they've got Celtic, they've then got St Johnson at home before the split, so you're, you're asking Celtic to drop points in three of the last five games. And Ange so hates happening. Emo's, mate, so he's... Uh, hey, so he am I right to say that he's not going to three home games Would Hearts well? be... Are you playing Celtic Parkhead. at Parkhead? Uh, Aye, mm-hmm. so like, you, you, if, if it were the other way around, you're going to wait to Tyne Castle or whatever, you might think, ooh... I don't think there's any guarantee either that Rangers will win every game. No. Nah. Uh, a draw as well does a draw I don't know if a draw I no mean, Rangers need to win Rangers need but to win. I, I agree with you I think since that game Giovanni Van Bronckhorst has 100% changed mm-hmm. style wise mm-hmm. because it, they played us at Tyne Castle two weeks before and I, I couldn't believe how passive they were yeah. even though they it's good. Was that see, if, goal? see if you're playing against the car mm-hmm. see if you're playing against the car an inferior team right which obviously Rangers were at the time and they've, they've come they went two and up and say 10 minutes what are you thinking you're thinking batter them they could batter us you need to try and hold on for a yeah, certain yeah. amount of time get control of the ball then try and build it up and create chances but they went 2-0 up sat off and we just dominated the ball for the rest of the mm. game and I found that found that weird like usually if, if an old firm team they've got you by the, the scuff of the neck they, by the buzz aye they, right. I mean they squeeze them you're they? asking them to squeeze them <laughs> harder aren't you squeeze yeah, them. you're wanting to squeeze harder but since that game <laughs> I, 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 I agree with Slaney I definitely think they've changed in Europe and domestically they're, right. they're starting games quick they're, they're getting after better. teams uh, Morelos fight on his hands to be fit Setting on for Colombia, but he'll be fit for this game. Aye. He'll play this game. I think so. That would be a massive blow if he doesn't play. Mm-hmm. I, I think... don't think that was the main. Well, I, it's not. I don't think it definitely wasn't the main reason Rangers lost the game at Parkhead. But they're a different team when he doesn't play. Yeah, definitely. Uh, gives him so much. Uh, need to give massive credit. Who'd have thought Celtic could have been in this position at the start of the season, Paul? Me. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, I did. Sir. No, I didn't. No, to be honest, I didn't. Did you mean it though? But you did. You, did you mean it? No, really. No. No. You should, see, that's. I mean, the, the, so all credit to who? The, Ange. Ange, because the, the recruitment. I obviously part. I'm part of it, but the recruitment's been unbelievable, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I think the the last Rangers game, I think it was, um, I think it was like eight. He has signings or something started. Mm-hmm. I mean, that team it played against you, Andy, the first, the first game. Who'd have thought? Two, one, eh? Do you know what I mean? Who'd have thought? No. I remember yeah. that. I remember the podcast coming in thinking Celtic's fucking hopeless because mm-hmm. they were. But they just didn't need players, didn't know. they? Know. They had and then obviously we all had our predictions. Even at Christmas time, we gave our predictions again. Rangers were still ahead, and I'm thinking, nah, Rangers going to win this league. But it's whatever happened what after done. that, after what happened last year, they should never, he should never be in the position that he's in now. No, but no. what he inherited, yeah. right. no, he shouldn't be. And he's because it, 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 well. it's like playing it, playing in that proper volume, way as well. No, to just, bring in that volume of players mm. and getting them all to sing the same hymn sheet. Shows you that's a co- big ask. Shows you what coaching does. Well, that's what it is, Simon. That's it. Because you, 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 you can, there's too many managers I feel sometimes they go to sign players and names because they fit the position. Get players that can just fit your style, fit your style, and go straight in so that 
when one comes out, one goes in. I thought that's what Rangers were good last, last year. Last year, yeah. 100%. When one came out, whoever was coming on knew exactly the role. And that's where Celtic's got to, that when one comes out, they come in and they do the exact same job. And it becomes easier then because everybody's, like I said, on the same page. And it's been a, it's been a great title race. It's still, still, still what we've got. We've got six games to go. Seven. Seven. seven, seven I, I think as, as a team, you live and die by your recruitment. But mm-hmm. I think the signing a good manager is, is the fact that like the boys that were there the year before that were struggling he's improved Made everyone better, all of them yep. like I said the, the difference in Roger this year since he's came in Turnbull was good last year but he's got better Greg Taylor's got better Neil Beaton's got better like, he's actually team. made all the players that were still there better even Callum McGregor better aye Callum yeah. McGregor Rangers better. win the game Sunday how do you feel then going forward do Rangers go on then and win the league or what, what we're thinking because all the mindset it's a big shift uh, aye yeah. It's all sorts of thing. you're thinking. But can't... both both teams have kind of responded well to oh, aye. a defeat. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think if Rangers win, it's just tight on, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh, aye. Level on points, Celtic have got a better goal difference. So they've got, still got the upper hand and Celtic are guaranteed three home fixtures in the split. I know, and which potentially have big. that opportunity of going to Parkhead. To, to, to oh, that's that's huge, Yeah, yeah. Right, give your lineups. So, Paul, we'll start with you. Who, what's your Celtic team going to uh, um, Ibrox? Will it be the exact same as the one at Celtic Park? Rab Douglas and goals. Rab Douglas, Tom Boyd and Hull. Um, <laughs> when you're in for so what, the back four picks itself. Are, are, you, are you going Juranovic left back and Ralston right back or are you putting Taylor left back and Juranovic right back? Is this his team this or is what, what he play? No, this is what I want, what he would play. I just think Ralston's been You'd go 4-4-2 four, four, and boot it, wouldn't you? 100%. <laughs> I like the idea of Alisson at right back mm. and Juranovic at left because I think Juranovic at left gives you more on the ball going forward. Well, see, forward. Juranovic, I think he's better on the left because see, when you're playing that inverted fullback, you're taking he your come, touch onto your right mm-hmm. foot. And I think he, he's very creative. I think I just feel he gives you more going forward as a left back because he's very comfortable on the ball. I could actually see him playing. You, you could put him in the midfield. I don't think you would look at a place he's yeah. very comfortable. Starfelt, Carter Vickers, and I think Ralston has been harsh done by when he got dropped the other week there, but he came back in and was excellent. Midfield three is a big one, isn't it? Aye. It picks itself for me. McGregor, Hattati and O'Reilly. Hmm? Would you like? McGregor, Hattati and O'Reilly. I'd probably agree with that. Is Rogic it? I wouldn't play Rogic. I think you'll play him ahead of O'Reilly. All right. And then um, what are you going wings? Are you going for Jota and Abada? Jota Jota and Abada. No. And big Giamak. No. And Giamak. Jota and Abada. You're not playing Abada? No, Jota. 17 goals this year now. Jota and Abada and... You're leaving 17 goals. Jack, Jack and Magus. No, but the reason I'm saying this is Simon, when you're. Plus, Derek Ferguson won't even know try it. He'll not try it. Yeah, so, that's who you drop for? Who you drop for? Abada won't play. I think maybe they'll start. Because, mate, see, especially. So, what after Abada done last, last time against Rangers? Aye, but I just in recent things, the way, mate, the, the way he presses is unbelievable. Mm. And that no, I agree be, with that. And yeah. that'll be key in this game. You need the players to be right up that part, especially with a better team. So. I think he'll start. I don't think there's any. Listen, I, I, I'll be very, very surprised if a bad starts. I, I, I actually agree that. with that, Paul. I think mm-hmm. I think Mida's work rate. I think that gives a wee bit extra something. So when the ball does break down, he's your first port of call to try and get it back. And I think that's that could be an influence. All right. I know what you're saying. My bad are going forward because I has think Rangers will pay that much attention to Gio Kamakis in the box. You want a, you want a second a, a second guy in there that can score goals. I don't know. Mida does well that. It doesn't do as well as a, 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 a bad. What's how do you say? Abada. 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 I don't know, man. If you look at, if you look, I know it's 17 goals, but if you spoke? look at recently, some, uh, some of Mida's goals have been that one in around the box. Like picking up the second balls, being on his toes, things that maybe he shouldn't get, he gets them. But, but that's others, Mida, so Mida's been playing on the left, so you're saying what you put in Jot on the right, where he's been great put, left. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, but I, I, would, I would definitely keep, I would definitely keep Jot on the left because I, I see, I see, so I see, right, I, see no played, I see an opportunity the last game, for Jot to get to the byline, getting crosses in, whipping them in and putting the ball right on top of Griggsy, top of Goldson, top of, um, I would say Halander would probably play Andy, would you think? I, well, I, I think, like you always well, say, I'm going to get this eye on it, so you're no, playing the Jota last, left and Mida right. The last game, Jota played right, and made a played left and Jota was brilliant so that's what you would do right? that's, that's, what what that's what I would start ok we'll see how it is fair enough right. but the thing that. is whatever, whatever whatever team he does pick whoever's no made it the options are there on the bench so it's still a great Celtic have a great good squad aye, depth mm. Rangers yeah. for me right we'll go Rangers Andy what's your, what, would your, what would your Rangers team be my team would be McGregor Tav Goldson I would go Balogun just now, Bassey, Jack, Lundstrom, Aribo, Kent, Morelos, and go Ramsey off the right, where he's played when he's... Where'd you go Ramsey off the right? 
So he played the Dundee game. And I, I, I think the, I know he's not played a lot, but I think the couple of games he has played, I think him and Tav have had good understanding because it's just that comes in as a natural ten and Tav's on the overlap on the other side. So what was your three with Arebo? Jack and Lundstrom. Ah, that's Aribo, to be fair. Jack. I think they two Lundstrom. have of they two have been excellent together since, I think Aribo, since that old firm game. Again, Kamara is no I think Aribo's a big, as as a big as like, as Aribo's a big I think he, he stopped Maribo. Although he's not been as effective as I he know, was before he went away, I think he'll yeah. be. I think he'll step up. He's um, he's got that about him. But that, that, when you put the two squads down like that, the two start with Evans. That's a. Mm. If I'm Rangers, I play Ramsey. I think Ramsey Aye. gives you a goal for it. I think he's very. I think good even after during the week there with what he done with Wales, Aye. he'll be coming back in a high. He got through ninety minutes, a wee bit of cramp near the end and stuff, but he'll be buzzing for this. His first old fun game. Right. Th- for, I'm a massive fan of Philip Palanda, but he's. He's he's been out a while. Uh, came back obviously the Dundee game. And to be fair, he was he was poor in the first half. Came off at half time, so I don't know if I would put him into the, the old firm game at the weekend. But I think it's I think it's going to be a very good game. So he says I think both teams will try and go out and win the game. I think on the first game, the the, the last one we saw it when um, at Parkhead, Rangers were far stronger when they put on Bassi at left back. Was it back? Did Ballin come on? Ballin came on. Ballin came on. Left back. back. And I thought they looked more. Yeah. Compact. I think they looked harder to break down. So just, I, I think, I think it'll depend on how each team starts. Kevin's just hates you when you back this tattoo. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't text, no chance. <laughs> only feels, only goes when you scratch it with your teeth. <laughs> Does he always send you that? Fuck scratching his ass with your teeth. <laughs> Does he always send you stuff like that? All the time. Oh, I send the pictures. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. Oh no, I, saw, I thought. Well, it was, uh, uh, if Rangers win next week, Paul, we see you next Monday. I probably not. No, no, I'm not here. He next doesn't drink. I'm not here. I'm not here next Monday either. So I'm oh, just putting that out the other now. Hey, you know how are you? I'm going to be a wee weekend with the kids. Oh, oh no. so right, I mean, you need to give us two accents before we finish. No, no, no. Ah, well, ah, you, need, no you need to do the Mexican to Dave. You're not, ah, you're not here next week. No, no. You're not getting out. Ah, well, next week, you're away. You're away. Just, I might not be back in time on Monday. So, so when are you leaving? Friday. So what about Condorin's game? Is that no matter? Oh you know? wow, he's cancelled it because it's his. Oh, oh, I've got me. things put in place. Oh so wow, really? Really? wow. What kind of message? What kind of message are we sending our kids? That could be the end. So we don't get the end. We don't get a hold in the holidays now. Well, I mean, you've only been there two weeks. Yeah, as long as if you've been there five years, you went on. Hey, Let's give you the end, guys. Let's give you the end. There's been water on you. Like, like, how, long you how long are you away for four weeks? No, oh, fucking three days or something. So what have you just cancelled the fact is that? I've not decided yet, Simon. Imagine a critical period that's when you're trying you've just started it's a You're trying to lay your foundation. Uh, imagine that Ange in the, in the summer just got a boys. You know what you said they Imagine that. You know what you said they asked? Like, it's the fit bond next week because it's school holidays. No, I mean, you asked that. Exactly, there's no fit bond. Why don't you make a friendly exactly. voice and coach them? <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's a weird day. Let's see why everyone else is laughing oh, in their bed. Weird you, your boys are getting extra games. That's a weird Paul. day. Absolutely. We're doing it. You've got, you've, you've got a friendly He's, he's, he's organised eight Thursday. games in one day for the boys. That's, 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 like that's, <laughs> that's why you've got a friendly Thursday, so thanks, Paul, for that. Will we prank you someday? Who do you want to prank you? What, we should prank you somebody? somebody live. No, but we should get. Why don't we prank you? Why don't you prank you? You can even see this. I don't have his number. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't have his number. Keep texting you. Anyway, Green Lottie rattled his mouth open this weekend. I, I, mean, I want predictions. We can't go over predictions, Bill Pump. Right, old right, okay. Because I think you got the last one. Hey. Did you see if you know the last one? Bang on, your money. Aye. Right, predictions. Who's going first? Big, big key fan. I'm going Barca, to say. Do the predictions are a. An accent. I'm going to say Celtic will win the game 2 0. Oh, wow. Massive. 2 0. Aye, 2 0. Wow. And know why I say that, Simon, is because I think, I think that I believe, having watched Rangers, I think that there's always opportunities to get chances, opportunities to get goals. Don't know why. I saw it with Dundee, a couple of cross at the box, didn't they have play, got, got in the end of one. Another one flying across the face of goal. You've got guys like Mida, Jack and Marcus, they'll be in that box. So I think that Celtic potentially could beat Rangers 2-0. And they go for Rangers now? No, I think um, I think what you might see is a performance from the two centre-halves where they'll be praised very highly for their defensive endeavour. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you that you've asked me I normally sit on the fence and say 1-1 but you've two, got like two. a short turn so but I just saw so, fuck it 2-0 Celtic we'll see how it goes <laughs> right Slaney hey, prediction Rangers 1 Celtic 2 wow I think Celtic will get a good sprung start and then Rangers will claw one back and it'll be it then we'll get another one Andrew <laughs> Rangers what honestly 
Aye, right, honestly. One each. I'll Big go 2-2. Two, two. I think 2-2. Two, two. I think a draw. How's that? There's a mix. 2-2. 2-2. How are we going to go in the game? Because I think Rangers will definitely score. If Morelos plays, I think Rangers will definitely score. Again, I, I think I think so Morelos has had a wee word with somebody, and I think he's done himself and the team a favour here by coming back for Colombia, pretending he's got a groin injury. I think that would be good for Rangers. I would like to see old fun with Morelos playing. Oh, yeah, of course, absolutely. I want Aye, both teams absolutely, at their best. because I, they keep, they, I, I think Morelos is an easy score. The guys are hate me. I'm to play against. To be fair, both both old firms so far this year as well. Both teams have not been at their best. They've no, no had none no, of them have right. had that the full team, Aye. and none of them have been. Anywhere near the top. Like Celtic so. were very, very good the last game, but Rangers were miles off it. Aye. So it'd be great to see the two of them with the two possibly full strength squads out and then just go for it and see what happens. All right, but big one. Big one. Uh, awesome right. One. Graham Murray told BBC Sports Sound it was at the weekend, uh, one of his main regrets Rangers taking you off and he did uh, he also said he thought he could do that job standing on his head. Did he? I uh, said that. Do you know what, right? Uh, it's perfect for me, I probably should have read what he said before we started, but the question is, does it mean anything to you? No. No, why would it? Mm. I actually don't hold it against him anyway. I've met him a couple of times. He's it's all right. It's but that, that reporter basically gave it that you would never ever forgive him for what he did. Nah, it's, 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 that's what I mean. I like it's what, what I mean. I, it was shit what he did. I don't, I, I don't agree, but I think as a professional. What did they actually say? What, what did they say? Do you know? I think it's his biggest regret or something. Aye, one of his biggest regrets at Rangers was to bring you off because he felt that you didn't deserve it. So, I know, it's easy to say that listen, I and, and, and at the same time, he flipped around and said that at that time, as a manager, he's the man in charge, so he was right. He 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 was in control of making decisions. But see, the thing I've seen here a moment as a manager, I've never been one, so I don't, I, I, I can't comment. But you are going to make decisions that aren't they going to suit everybody? I know, but forty-three minutes, minutes two minutes. No, I get that. Time. That's 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 shite. But that's like, what makes you make that decision at that time? What what is the reasoning? Whatever reason he gave in the BBC wasn't there, it didn't really answer the question. It was a poor, poor decision. I don't think you can have a reason for that. 43 minutes. To be fair, it's like, but the guy did the headstand on the side of the pit, so... Did he talk about that? Says that that was his... his that was one thing he was proud of. <laughs> <laughs> that was his highlight. <laughs> so talk us through it, right? See, but are you, are you, see when you're playing on that game? Are you like aware that... So the game that we're talking about, are you aware that somebody's getting changed? Can you see it inside the pitch? No, no. So when do you re- but see this is God's own tour, I don't think I've ever said this. See, see when the see when the board was gone up, I didn't think it would be me. And I'm not saying I was good because I wasn't. We were like Celtic were battling us, but I didn't think it would be me. Windus. No, Windus came on. Oh, did he right? Uh, he came on. So who did you think did, did I'm you not gonna say right, I'm okay. not gonna say, but were, like none nobody was playing well, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. not as if I'm saying I was brilliant and others weren't, but I just I, I never thought it would be me at the time and then when you come after like fucking hell. So but just, it's like uh, hey, we, if you've been brought off at half time before you've been brought off at I've half time and you've half-time. got that feeling but fucking hell man brought off at off ah. half time but then obviously two minutes before half time is a bit different but it's not the fact that I was going to say you, you can never forgive him but it's not even that it's just like you're probably it's, it's happened do you know what I mean it's I, fucking years mm, ago it's, I know it's in the past you're, like, it's, you're absolutely right it's, and see to be fair it's like I, I generally have bumped into him a couple of times and I, I'd speak to him and say alright how you doing blah 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 we are, the way I see Andy was the interview was basically somebody trying to interview someone to get points scored and, and it looked a bit pathetic to be honest like you summed it up you're not arsed so why is anybody else arsed mm. I, 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 I may it have made it, it but I've no it I've is what it is it. any managers just, to use why is anyone red starved I've never, I've never been took off that early, but I went on for somebody after 25 minutes. Had a shocker, Tommy Butler, good player, excellent player. I seen an absolute shocker, and Mick Turner, Kev, get ready. And on I went, and I thought, oh, I've came on hell. 20, 25 minutes. for him coming half, but I scored straight away, so that was that. Have you ever been subbed? Sub sudden, that never. No. Or subbed on, subbed off, that, that would be. The can used to shout me over quite a bit and say, you've got five minutes. I came on for I'm back. talking seven minutes into a game, mate. And I'm like, ah, what, you're getting 13 minutes? Mm. Uh, but he, he would do, he would do, boy, I'm, I think he's done 18 minutes, 19 minutes. Aye. The rest. It's more common now, isn't it? Definitely Aye. more common now. Uh, no, no, the thing is, right, see, for a, a, to stick up for a manager, I didn't get the 43 in because there's two minutes to half time, but if you're 20 minutes in a game and you think, if I keep him on the pitch, we're going to lose this game. Aye, aye. He needs something to change. You need to change it. Of course you do. You're there to win football games. You're not there to be people's back. Have you ever refused to come on or whatever as a sub? No. I told you I had the canny once, mate, and he fucking... I thought he was going to kill him. Why? What time is that? Is that pure late? Like 88 minutes in a pre-season friendly, mate, and he put the fucking cleaner on before us. I was the only one sitting there, 88 minutes. He's like, you're going to... I was like, no. Was it hard out there? She went on, she went on. She was actually the best player I had twice. Mark Roberts tried to put me on at 94 minutes. 
I went, Mark, there's a boy there that's no fucking got a debut. Stick him on. Mm -hmm. He deserves it more than me. And then Craig. I know, but what happened if you came on and scored the 94th minute and got a, an equaliser? My head was gone by that time. The other one was Craig Levine, Scotland. We had picked the Scotland squad, say the initial 20 boys. And I was like, by the time it actually got to the match, there was only maybe three or four boys from the initial squad still in the squad because everybody mm -hmm. was pulling out. They were sat in that bench up at Patodja against the Fair Islands and every single sub went on. He went on, he went on, he went on. I was like, right, must be me now. Fucking game ended. I was like, that was that. I was fucking proper pissed off. Where was he going to put you on? Right at uh, back ten. Just anywhere, <laughs> mate. Just ride a cart, a little cart. I always there was a few times when I was on the bench at Celtic, like, and I think just put me on, man, for right. my debut. Yeah, just put us on. Uh, if you're four nil up or four, something, eight, eight, one, eight one up at Dunfermline, mate. Uh, Lenny scored. I'm sitting there. I was only seventeen. First time on the bench. I was like, surely I'm going on here. Eight. When it got to eight. Put Piro on, then he made a big hang. But after the game, about because somebody asked him why didn't you know put Strack, why did you not put Simon Ferry on? He fucking slaughtered us on the on the radio. No slaughtered us, but like you need to fucking earn earn playing for Celtic. Like, no, you what a feeling has come on for Celtic, you know? <laughs> what a feeling. <laughs> did you not play any any game? Played <laughs> like nah, just like friendlies and I'll hmm. speak to you, but tell what is not. It's like what a feeling. Uh, I'll set you down. Were you stay, you, we were assistant manager at Southern Agent. I was trying to get on ahead of Petrov and that too. He was I going know. on for fucking. Who were you going for? Twazik or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we were assistant agent Heath at the time when he was Peter. He'd, he would ask the young boys, What's your appearance money? And he'd go through them all and he'd say to me, I said, I mind you, three grand. He's like, Right, okay, 10% you're on, I'll get you on the next 10. They're like, Okay. Mm -hmm. But never have asked you for the 10%. My first goal for Middlesbrough had came on for Maro and Zamama after 15 minutes. Good players, Zamama. Hibs, aren't they? Zamama, Moga took him off after 15 minutes Did he? at Portman Road, I Went 1 0 down. I think it was him, no, uh, Martin, his runner, and then gave the ball away a couple of times. Like, right, you're coming on. That was, uh, I ended up scoring. Oh, yeah. Drew three each. How many appearances do you have for Rangers? Uh, 152. That never leaves you, that, don't it, no? You're not counting that 43 minutes, yeah? I wouldn't count that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not counting that. I'm not counting See, the carry, he was so funny when you are on the bench. But see, so, you know, James Collins that played the hands, and he's at Cardiff now. We are playing Portsmouth away. I was starting the day before, and I told you before, I was in the day, and so I run right in shape, and he's like, No, you don't play tomorrow. You're fucking all over the place. Oh, yeah, so I never played, I'm sitting on the bench. So James Collins just started the game. Touch bad. And he, he fucking smashed the dog and he's like, James Collins, he's blurry. <laughs> Looking at us, right? So James Collins makes another mistake. And then he turns to us, he's like, Collins, your friend to me. And I was like, my friend, like, I hang about with my friend again. What? And he was like, you and him need to go see a psychologist. <laughs> mate, I'm getting battered for him having a shot at 24 minutes <laughs> off, mate. Just Did you come over? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was you and his mate. But, I mean, I, I got it for him having an absolute shocker, man. Oh, fuck's sake. You and your mate James Collins need to go and see a psychologist. Uh, how's he not had a job again? I don't know, mate. He's actually did some job. Just wants to get his balls out of the hydro, I don't know. Fucking hell, man. I'd love to see him back in, mate. Would he yeah, take, would take us? Like, would he take that in his I'd go and be a coach for him, mate. Would you? Uh, definitely. Get him to, you know what? I mean, mm -hmm. Are you not similar, though, in a way, as in, like... Similar to him? No, mate. You're no like I'm saying. If you'd let them dance, he'd attract people. I'd let people dance. Uh, would you? I don't mind. Like, I wouldn't mind boys going out on a Saturday night. Now he hated it, mate. At what level though? What do you mean? Well, what level would you be happy with your players going out Saturday night all the time? So what? If we played on a Saturday, and we never had a game the next Saturday. Yeah. At any level, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be bothering me if they went out on a Saturday. Mate, night. Maybe if you've got a game next Saturday, Saturday I mean, you, you, were a... you were talking about how you're going to Morecambe two days later. But night. even if you went out Saturday <laughs> by a game Saturday, mate, he would be rage. You drink the poison a week before we play. I'm like, mate, fucking seven days, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some how long do I get hung over for? You don't need to even go. Some people drink the house all the time. Oh, uh, I, I wouldn't have. But my, my he hated would it, that when they were. Ah, if you stayed in the house and had a wee bottle of wine, aye. Oh, he hated it, mate. Hated it. Oh, I told you the time he phoned me, didn't it? Well, his assistant phoned me and I could hear him in the background. I was watching X Factor and the telly was turned up loud. And I could hear him in the background saying, He's out, Fabrizio! <laughs> Ask him where he is. And Fabrizio was like, Where are you? And I was like, Mate, I'm in the house. That's the telly, X Factor. <laughs> and every day he got at me, Fucking X Factor. The canny on me. <laughs> Thought I was out there. I had a meeting the next day with the boys who was out with Simon Penny last night. I was just sitting in the house, no well. Fucking mental, mate, honestly. Uh, right, we're yeah. out of Scotland. And you Poland. go, Kev, take us off. You're the only one with my cap. You're the Scotland Fuck correspondent. You. I didn't actually watch it, boys. I forgot. <laughs> I, forgot. <laughs> I forgot it was on. I was yeah. fucking. I was hoovering the grass. I was hoovering the grass. No, right. do you know what you've done? Ah, the Astro needed hoovered. 
He was masterminding Condor. It's th- that would be a, that was a Thursday night, wasn't it? Was it? Thursday night. Big game was, on the Saturday. You'd I, have been sitting planning with Billy Brown. I'd came back for training. I had a lot to think about. I was writing down tactics and stuff. What is your tactics? What is the tactics? Well, we play five ball. We play with one in goal. We put a wee diamond shape. It's so a pair of centre half. Right. Two, one on either side of the wing and a wee boy up front. He's centre midfield. He's centre midfield. Yeah. Why is that? Problem? Right, the right. size of the pitch is not that big, so they're able to all accommodate. And what we do is to keep things idea. right. We just turn them all around in a wee. Circular rotation clockwise, anti clockwise, so that one comes off and goes on, they all get their game time. When but see, we, when, when the ball when goes I'm, high, does your centre back maybe then become your centre midfielder? No, no, the goalkeeper can come out, so I use No, but I'm centre. saying if if it's high, your centre back going to centre mid and then maybe your goalie comes as your centre ah, back. I could, I that could happen. But on, Saturday, on, on, Saturday, day. on Saturday, we asked that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think that's a, like, this is the saddest day in the club's history. This is a real bad day. For, on, I don't know if you can back to this big on man. Saturday you asked, uh, mid. On Saturday, we asked the boys to, who'd like to turn in goals because obviously none of them are. Designated goalkeepers, and then a couple of boys put their hands up with decent goals. So if you're in, I said to me, Lewis, like Lewis, it's your turn now. I said, but you don't need to be in goals. You can play as a centre half and get the boy. And the wee man got the boy and played passes. At one point, we had a four-five pass um, rotation in the game, and I thought it was amazing. They were trying yeah. to do the right things. You Is Lynn not playing goals anymore? No, no, Lynn. No, she she told me the little kickers. Right. You about the whole pretend to be a dinosaur. Each player takes a shot on goals. Yeah. Each player takes a shot on goals. I just did. Uh, Familiarise because I, I feel Paul at that age, seven that years it. old, that um, there's a potential that, 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 that they're unsure. Hey, Joe Hart, you can make cut Paul, up because it's Paul, don't blame me for the rules. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Paul, go and phone the SYFA or the SFA, they'll tell you why they're. So, what would you do? Go and get a goal. What would you do? Get a goalkeeper. That's it, then. Have you got a goal? Have you got a goal? Uh, oh, amazing. Uh, who watched it, Paul? You watched it? I watched it. Brilliant. Um, what was the start of Gravin? Steve O'Clair. Steve Leclerc was he was a main deal swear, obviously we try to uh, <laughs> was standing on the side like that, wasn't he? Watching he, the game. Aye, but his worry is obviously try to catch big for stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> he try to catch that. When boys were running down the wing, he was doing that, wasn't he? <laughs> kept making noise. Kept making noise. Uh, <laughs> but no what well, listen, I feel now with a Scotland team, no matter who they play against, they're always they're always um they're always competing almost and that wasn't the case for years mentality change mentality has changed and that's fair play to Steve Clark because I think he went in a run near the start of his thing and it was they only scoring goals when they winning or whatever but now listen they've stuck by him and rightly so he's got them boys to indicate when the past left and that all the time uh-huh. all the time I think that's always a big factor to the team doing really well um, <laughs> he, sticks, he keeps his goalie he sticks with his he goalie, sticks goalie. His seven wins in a row that would have been I know. I mean, been a bit of 90, 94 minutes. Uh, Wasn't it a penalty? It was soft, eh? soft No, it's never a penalty. Yeah. Soft, eh? Never a penalty. Soft. And I went to VAR as well, Should didn't Scotland it? had a penalty as well? But I, look, I mean, I look, at, mm, I look yeah. at that team now, though, as I, I mean, you talk about. It's a great team. Unbelievable. Yeah. The players are unreal. I mean, That's McGinn's going to go to a bigger club. Yeah. Um, what, Andrew, what, what, what club do you think will go bigger in VAR? Tottenham, maybe. I suppose, maybe. Yeah. Um, I think he's good enough, 100% in Spurs midfield. Um, I look at Man U's midfield there and now. McGinn's better than McTominay for me. So if he's been playing that long, then hey-ho. Um, look at that hey-ho. And then, I mean, look at Tierney. He could be a bit of Real Madrid, but that's, the rumours are now becoming truth. Oh, you've heard son. Aye. Uh-huh. Um, and then, but you just look through that team now, you've got, you've got top players playing in top leagues, top teams. So when they come to Scotland, they can deal with playing against the, the yeah. top teams. So. See, just on the F1, Steve Leclerc obviously finished second. Must feel for Gary Hope finishing last driving a bus. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, to see. How does he? <laughs> <laughs> how does he expect to get anywhere with a bus driving a bus? And it's a new engine, though, isn't it? But he's like, still not doing well with a wee man. <laughs> oh, well, about that tech, no, but what, you're right about Scottish team. That really brilliant. They're now competing with the, the top team. But see, he's like, what about the message I sent to that person yesterday? That was brilliant, mate. Genius, man. Right? Uh, but even, uh, even like the mentality of the players, like Patterson's going to be playing at Everton and he comes on and puts a performance like that. But Gilmore does the same when he's not Billy playing. Gilmore. Also, yeah. Gilmore's brilliant. Patterson was very, very good. I yeah. saw some of the highlights and that run that Patterson had when he beat three, four guys. But like you say, it's the mentality that the fact that you're not playing week in, week out for your club, but you can rock up against... And Poland's a decent enough side, obviously, didn't they have... Didn't, didn't they? Lewandowski didn't start. But six wins, a draw in the last seven games... We've got a proper team to be proud of. Eh? Mm. We just need this. Obviously, whatever happens with the Ukraine game and how they 
they go about doing that. I didn't agree with obviously the Prime Minister's thoughts that we should just step aside or something else and let Ukraine go. I think that it should be younger merits to get to the World yes. Cup. No, you can't play us when they want that. This is a nation that's fighting um, and, and trying to survive and whatever. They don't want anything handed to them. Um, I think there's an option there that maybe down the line, if they don't, if, they, if they're not able to fulfil the fixture, maybe down the line, offer them a place in the next World Cup mm. as, a, as a whatever. But Scotland, we've not been there for 20, 24 years. Good math. Like, we need to be Quite desperate to get the others as well. And I think like, obviously with Wales winning a game, what a game that would be a final. See, Wales, I see Wales, on that. Who do you think of that? Who do you think's the better team there? I think Scotland. Oh, I think so. Scotland. Nah, I think so. They've got like, I mean, Bale's just Bale's a little bit yeah. amazing, and then Ramsey and stuff like that. But I think overall, Scotland. It's probably the, like. What about his free kick for me? I know, oh, I'm not a goal. It's probably the only thing we've no got in it. It's just right. that one match. Although Che Adams is brilliant, man. What a difference know, he makes. He he is, he's, a, he's, a, he's a right good striker. I know what you he's mean. He's not your Gareth Bale, is he? Like Bale. No, no, no. That, 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 that's the only But for me, we've got a better team. Yeah. Oh, I We've got a better team, right. better squad. But they've just got that X factor, don't they? They can just win them games. He's a Welsh, Welsh accent then. Are you good at Oh, down the valley. No, me- Welsh, no Mexican. <laughs> that was the Mexican. That was down the valley. <laughs> like, he's Mexican. Mexican. Welsh for your leather shorts on. Oh, and I went down the beach with the weather shorts on, oh boy, oh. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Right. So finish it off, I went down the beach, what happened? What happened when you were at the beach with your leather shorts on? I tried to take the leather ones off, couldn't get them off. You sat all day with leather shorts on? Oh, sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got your German, don't we? <laughs> you last... That's keep trying to back at you. No, <laughs> I'm stopping there. That's Ask your good, German but... dog to take your shirt and tie no. your shirt. <laughs> 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 no, is that your German dog? That was good. Yeah. Is that your dog? That was good. <laughs> Why the fuck am I doing this? You're brilliant, mate. You're super. You're brilliant, mate. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant, mate. All right, so we're going. We're going to go to the World Cup, aren't we? Aye, aye. Oh, I think so. And then that means open goals at the World Cup as well, then. Oof. Have we gone to the World Cup? Right? If Scotland are there, do you know what I mean? We meet. Last we bet our good friend Tomo. What a good job he's done at Kelly Hearts. He won up there about six games to go. Canter won it. Canter. I'd love to have seen Barry Ferguson when they won that league, but his thinking must have been. Yeah, the shocker, didn't he? Off. Leaving them. Oh, fuck me. But no, good on Tom. Well, he's, when we interviewed we, we interview, so you, Yuri's pal side, but when we interviewed him, you can say he's got a bit of class about him, knows what he's talking about, isn't he? Yeah. He'd like to play under a guy like that. Yeah. And he's, uh, I think, the big key with Michael Tids in the middle. I think he's. Like Tids? Aye. Tom <laughs> took over at the beginning of the season, didn't he? Yes. Aye, he did. Plus, I hate, this, I hate this, people talking about like, like their budget and that. That's budget, what I was going to get to, that's what I was going to get to, because at the beginning of the season... You can fall Exactly. Yeah. Like, you can have the best budget in the world. My right, he's paying players 250, 300 grand a week. Oh, okay. They're not sitting top of the league. Exactly. Okay. So, I get, it, I, get, I get it to a point, and you could say the same, maybe in the, the junior league, there's some teams playing a lot of money and they're not sitting top of the league. So, money doesn't always buy success, it does help get you... More attractive Money players. Talks. Oh. He don't sing and dance and he don't walk. He's doing an Irish accent. I know, Texas. I was trying to be a good day. Texas. I was trying to be a Neil Diamond there. Just as long um, as no. you are here with me, I'd much rather be forever in leather shots. But leather shots. There's a tide. <laughs> We are German and dog. Do you dare me? But no. <laughs> I'm saying you now until you speak. <laughs> but no, it's like you said, no, budget wise, you're league, mate. Queen's Park get the same budget as Man U have. <laughs> I think they do. They yeah. still no, they great, 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 great example. Great. great example. Cheers, mate. Hi, right, so good coach. You'll go to the top, won't you? That's well, go to the top. Jack, the people. I think it's still a wee bit too early in his, his managerial career. Or do you think big clubs will start to take notice in the league? I think Tomo will it's pick up the notice, <sighs> no problem, because he's first he's got the promoted, and then he'll he'll be there for next season, I would imagine. And do you think Kilty, Simon, you're obviously. I don't know. think he'll be there next season. There you go. Do you think that Kilty can compete in that league? Yes, definitely. Yep. That, that, that league next year will be an absolute. So him. if he doesn't go in the summer and Kilty start as well as he started this season and continue that rise, He'll be away before Christmas. I think. Well, I think I, I think he'll get a job in the summer. Who? Where? Championship. Championship in Scotland. Yeah. So who's, what Premier jobs League. are available there that's going to come up? Well, the jobs might come up in the summer when it's relegation. All right. So you must know something. But would you? No, I don't know. Anything, <laughs> but I just think. I think. I just think. He, well, he was close to getting a killer job, wasn't he? Well, let me put an example to you, right? Say Middle of the, say Rafe Rovers, right? John McGlynn chucks it or whatever, mm-hmm. and they try to take Tom. Would you? If you're Tom, would you leave? No. Maybe yeah. he'd go uh, if Dunfermline say 
Came he'd, firm, but he'd got club. a Dunfermline. He'd got a big club, but I think he wants to manage at a big club. Yeah, fair enough, Dunfermline's a big club. Yeah. Listen, just whatever, whatever he does, we wish him all the best because it's great to see young managers succeeding. He's always put a lot of time in. What he's uh, good at to me, and that's what I like about him, is he, he demands standards, but he does it in the right, the right way, do you know what I mean? No. Nah. And that's why I think he's, he's so successful. I remember doing my, I don't know him personally, I remember doing my UEFA B licence with him. And he used to have like the runners and that that would do the drills and he would be in. <laughs> and even then you could see straight away the way he passed the ball to people. You can't kind of deal with it then, you're in the wrong mm. freaking game. So he was proper, um, no, I, I liked his, I, I've always watched his interview and stuff, but no, nah, it's good to see him doing well because it, it's hard. Yeah. They're it very, very quiet up there, aren't they? They are, right. Doogie and Donna. Two Bruins. Very quiet up there. But, uh, that's because their myths what they do with their myths that's why they're playing I they can't have a chance to speak <laughs> but I'm desperate to offer the trim down here for a challenge I'm just trying to think oh my god to get he's going to challenge you to if I've got it in a bit and we'll start walking down the night you need a challenge by Kev no, man, this is a series there's no challenge this week what, 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 we couldn't, I was going to say we could race again but I've been training so I would be. what about how many strips you can put on in a, in, in nah, a minute I'm not doing any challenges <laughs> I want to go up my road boys right what have we got to talk about now <laughs> none of these strips go with leather shorts though do they yeah. nah Definitely not. Nah. It's hard getting the leather shorts off at the weekend. Uh, what nice. about players that you played with? You think could go on and be managers? Uh, Lee Wallace. Hey, you stand out. Aye, Winky was brilliant, wasn't he? Aye, and he's pure, he, he's proper. And he obviously worked with Kelty, didn't he? Aye, he, he did, I get the 20s, didn't he? Yeah, so even when he was still, he was captain of Rangers and still yep. doing Tuesday, Thursday nights with Tiny and then obviously moved on to Kelty. Is that your Kevin's well. Tiny? Uh, aye, aye, Tiny. <laughs> so I def definitely Lee Wallace. Who's that? Anybody else? Who are you? Up, uh, up here and down south. Mm, I'm surprised Gordon Gray never went in it. I thought Gordon Gray would go in it manager. Is he doing agency? Does agency. No, no he's, he's, he's got so Brighton. He works for Brighton. I'm not sure what his role is. I think he's maybe like the scouts. No. Uh, the, sorry, the loans manager. Something like that. But I no, thought big, big P's. Big P's in gravy, David Weir. He's the loans manager. But I, oh, I think he? he does work closely with him. Uh -huh. I think this is like How very close you said, it? Oh, so close. Not, uh, he was, the, he was the one doing his wipes for him after he does a shite. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kevin? Did you think Davey, did you think Davey Weir would be a top manager? I thought Davey Weir would be, be really apparently, good. Apparently, but apparently, um, I know a couple of boys up at Sheffield United, he didn't have a great time at Sheffield, but everyone said he was a brilliant coach. Mm. So I don't know if Big Davey was just a bit more suited to, to coaching than he was a manager. Mm -hmm. See, after speaking to obviously Jazza last week about how his time was at Dundee and stuff, and then obviously speaking to you a few times about how Scary you're man. coaching and stuff, and then I now I'm coaching like young kids. So for the faint hearted, by the way. No, it's, it's ruthless, man. Yeah. Like I'm, I've, I'm away here and sat, I couldn't sleep Saturday night thinking about the games I had in the Saturday morning, thinking about how could I have done things a wee bit better, or could I have done things better? Was the training right Tuesday, Thursday? That's eight year olds. Mm -hmm. But that's maybe just because I want, I want it to go well, I want it to succeed. Mm -hmm. But no, I, I, is that I, why I, you're going holiday for your break already? Can't need a break. Can't sleep or go on holiday. I'm going on four, bad day for four you. days gardening leave. It's a bad day. <laughs> no, you're yeah, right. Tell me, I'll show you. We, we, we one Saturday look, and there's I've put that in the group today for the boys to watch certain bits of the game. That, so you just kind of you, you never feel stop that they would watch it. that. Yeah, definitely. Your boys good. are good, mate. I've no uh, complaints. Or, as I say, your boys are for us this season. I I can't kind of complain. Eh? They've been really good. Uh, asked. Today they've done everything we've asked of them, and they, they all want to get better. I me, mean, there's four or five that message you saying any night I could do better for the weekend, and that's the way it should be. As a, as a that's the way it should be. If you're not going to your manager, or a coach, and asking how you can do things better, then you're not wanting to develop yourself as a player. Because I found at the age of 70 when I went to Sunderland, that's the only thing I ever did was ask, 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 ask questions all the time. How can I get better? How can I get? Because mm -hmm. it's hard. Yeah. And Isn't these it? people give you the tools to go and it's up to you. I had a 24 hour job for me. Oh, see, right, your mind never stops. Yeah. How can I get better? How can I get better? But if you, I, I, what do you think? I've asked this before, but for me as a player, I would be more interested in a mere man manager who gets Somebody the best. Somebody your arm around you. Gets the best. No, no, that way just gets the best out of you as an individual and as a player. I then need to be tactical, but I would um, go more, uh, more towards that. What I would get married to me, I'm sort of mere man manager rather than. I think players want to be coached. I think that was that? 10, 12 years ago. I think players want to be coached. Yeah. I, I think you every, can do both. You can do no, both. No, of course you can do both, but, you're both, you're but I think a massive part of it is being good coaching. in the training room. Oh, wow. But the best managers I've worked under have had somebody that does a bit does of that within their yet. staff. So it's like the, oh, right. other members of staff are brilliant at different aspects, role. so they're right. more. I'd agree with that. That's a great example. Like you can't just be a good man manager and throw a cup and day five sides on it. No, I. But if obviously if you're a manager, you should know the game. Do you know what I mean? But and the 
But mate, you'd be surprised that uh, it's, no, not, suppose, it's not that yeah. some managers don't know the game, but some managers just when they tr- don't try and make players better, mm. they might make them feel better, like you're saying, my manager. Aye. But you need to have a bit of it, don't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you've got a manager coming and put your arm around you and tell you, like, we need to do this, whatever, that's great saying it. You need to then take show him out the training ground and show him how yeah. to do it. Give exactly. him examples and say, right, see, like you're saying there with the, the, the video analysis, see that there, that's that's amazing. See, if you got that, we, we did it a wee bit back in the day, but see, if you're coming in and somebody actually highlights, even Dowie was very good at it and highlights a moment and they'll say to you right Kevin see at that point see if you'd maybe just have moved five yards this way what do you see then and it's that that's the type of coaching that you think right okay I maybe mm-hmm. so then the next time you go and you play that's the first thing that's in your that mind that situation think, happens that again, situation yeah. happens you're aware of it and that's how you gain that experience of it's always like you'll now and you'll probably say the same like usually at an age now in your careers where you probably know more now than you ever know but you wish you knew now what you, you wanted to know 20 years ago mm. as a player as a player yeah. because as you're, more, you're saying about coming as a comeback when you make a comeback right you'll feel less stressed about it you'll feel more relaxed about it and when you're relaxed you'll probably excel more later I on in life ever, I, I mean I know you were you, uh, Tommy Burns and who were you to again you, you get coached when you're younger but I can't remember ever a time when I was younger anybody actually coaching the game to you mm. you knew your position on but like my, my best most information I ever got was get the ball get across the box Oh, right. I see. I had Adrian Heath that, that was played with Everton, scored a lot of goals with Everton. He would say, Right, big man, I watched the game Saturday more closely. I watched the reses on Tuesday. And I feel that we could do this more. And he would go out and do specific things. He says, You're, we were, we were trying to play this role of Niall Quinn, be on the shoulder. He says, You're just standing in between the two. He says, That's great. You're in great position. But how do you then get that ball? And he showed me wee things like, Why don't we come short a few yards? Defender comes. See, when you see him move, you go the other way. Mm. He says, And that might just try and catch eyes. And it just simple wee things. They were basic things, but it made me think a wee bit different. And then sometimes I would try it. And then he would say, Right. And then the next week I would maybe do it. Then he'd show me the clip and say, Look what happened there this time. And you're like, Oh, hi, that what? You don't get that all the time. Mm-hmm. But it gave me a, an indication of, Right, okay, that would help my game. Whereas sometimes people think, Oh, you need to work on your touch, play head tennis. I played head tennis every morning. You play head tennis. You date Simon quite a lot. How good is that if I want your touch? I tell kids all the time. Yeah. Get a ball, hit a ball, get it, come back. Simple things, but the more repetitive you do, the basics, the easier it becomes. And then you're asked to do the hard things, you've got the comms to go and do them. But it's like, see, off the ball, I was never coached that until Aye. I met the canyon, mate. And that was when I seen, like, this is fucking, this is more important than on the ball, mate. Mm-hmm. So important that you're organised off it. But that was, what, 23 I got in? Up until that, it was basically, so guess, she kind all... of guess where you are when the other teams But do you think a lot of people forget to coach? Off the ball when you're on the ball. Yeah, that's my big thing, isn't it? Being in the right area when we've got it. Aye. I think Because that's when you're susceptible. I think that so missed that. Yeah. The thing is with that, like, oh, we, we used to do that a lot, we and Dowie, like, when we had the ball, what happens, if, the, the what ifs, and it just takes one person not to follow suit, and if they get the ball, you could be fucked. What was Ian, one of the big deal, Ian Dowie's what ifs was what if I nick a bird during the game, some gorgeous. <laughs> Who's going to take the team? He was a big handsome dude in Dowie, wasn't he? What a guy. Fucking hell. Boys, that's us. Is that us? Anything else on coaching? No, no, I think you're... you're How's the eight legs going, said. Andy? You've done any more since the other week you were with this Jack This week, Denver this week. It's funny because I don't even like to be a coach, but... Do you know? No. I know you. Because that. But I, I'm 30, you know what I mean? I've no thought about being a coach. I've no thought about being a manager, so stuff could change. But I think that's why it's good to... Date now and then if you date what again and you're done, you're, you're ready to go, you've done your badges. Yeah. But he's revolutionising revolutionizing Scottish football, right? Because the yo yo test has been brought into the airline right. system, right? Every week. They're still dating Donald Donald Parks, that, like, Every Donald week. Parks doing it with the yo yo, isn't he? It's important. Ah, but tell you what, I'm bigger. <laughs> tell you what, I'm bigger if I, if, if I was a coach as well. I, I, and this isn't, this isn't being a people pleaser, my manager. I would generally would not run. I would date all my running would be with the ball. Possessions. Aye. Would you? Aye. I, do you ever see when John Terry was on uh, Monday Night Football with Sky Sports and he spoke about Mourinho he says Mourinho was the first manager I ever, I ever had for a pre-season you never run everything was with a ball Mourinho, Mourinho says, says didn't he you, didn't, how was it you don't see a, a pianist running the, practicing uh, with his piano running around the piano but then the Spurs players said that's what Mourinho was lacking though. he didn't feel fit enough well J- John Terry says the fits he's ever been see, see, do, you know, do you know what I always say right with the likes of Tottenham and Manu and players like that do you know why they're no good because they're excuse makers every manager comes in and says it's their fault something to say with their, their manager high. Mourinho's won everything so see if you can't win under him you'll win under but him I think Klopp runs didn't he I think Liverpool aye they, they're pre-season <laughs> it's a joke 
But that's what it's I all think you're, if you're running pre, you need to run pre-season, then you get your best. Ah, it's pre-season, you can take I, But that's what I mean. It's all, it's all personal preference. Yeah, I know. I would so agree so with that's that. all you can take as a fit up player going into coaching. What you believe in, you, yeah. you you might steal the odd idea off or something, but you've got to go with your beliefs and stick to them. Full time, I don't think you need to run full time. No. If, you, if you train properly, if you're training properly, part time, I, I, I run I run the boys on a Tuesday. No run them. But I would still like the first week of pre-season. I would still do the runs like your base fitness and your testing and that. But then after that, all boys, everything. Brilliant. Superb, boys. Anyone else? I don't Anybody know. Wants to bring it. This is my favourite. You need to go and run, mate. This is my favourite time of the week. What were the. All the boys together. Because you, you we barely see each other, don't we? Sure. You're you coming up with the Browns. I'll come in for a meal, why? You've just got a big walk. But it needs to be healthy for you. I know where he's got his You need to change your second name or not? Are you going for a wee Monday club, sorry? Wee pint? Monday club. Pints it is then. Sure, Pints it is. Couple of pints on a Monday. Living a dream, young man. Let's go. Well done, boys. Monday club.